So today I want to show you how you can make photos like these for cheap and it's actually pretty easy. So here are the few things that you will need for these photos. A professional photographer, a professional camera, professional actor, a professional makeup artist, a professional studio, professional lighting of course. If you have all that, well yeah, it's pretty much cheap and easy. But what if you don't? Well then here's something that you will have to make to basically make these photos. A cardboard reflector. Now this is the shape that I chose. It's basically just a cardboard box with a bigger opening at the end and a smaller opening where the light bulb will go. Of course you will have to fill it up with aluminum foil to help redirect light exactly where you want it to go. And also to prevent it from burning. Seriously, I'm not joking. Well now that you have made it, it's just a matter of time for dark to fall. Now that it's night time, I would recommend you to go into the largest room that you have in your house because the larger the room, the less problems you will have with different reflections coming off of different things from the main light that you'll be using. And yes, you will be using only one light, to be exact, that one light bulb that will go in the cardboard reflector. And now you just turn off all the lights, point the reflector the way you want it to go, and that's it, have fun. If you want to make a photo like this, you want the light to be somewhere higher, and if you want to make a photo like this, you want the light to be somewhere lower. Now yes, you can put the light somewhere in the middle depending on what kind of shadows you want to create on the face. For example, in this photo, I actually used an additional flashlight from my phone to fill up the eyes so that they're not lost in the shadows. And for this photo, I didn't use any additional light, it was just basically the reflector, me holding it in my hands, pointing it at my face, and that's it. I'm sorry that there is no makeup tutorial or Photoshop tutorial on these photos, but I would basically recommend you to shoot in raw so when you get into the editing process, it is much easier to manipulate and get the photos you actually want. For example, these are photos before and after I edited them, and you can see that it's quite a big difference from the beginning to the end of the photos. So to get the best results, I really recommend you to shoot in raw. So that's pretty much it. If you're interested in anything else, just put it down below in the comments and I might just make a video about it. And yeah, see you in the next one.